we want to not have pneumothorax and we certainly do not want to have PIE. PIE, pulmonary interstitial emphysema, usually occurs when you're at the cantilicular stage of lung development with high frequency, at the cantilicular stage of lung development. So here at this 22 to 24 weeks, we have respiratory bronchioles. We have some then leading to these alveolar ducts. And the place that the rupture occurs is really not at the alveolar sac, since it tends to be pretty stiff. It actually occurs at the cuff here of the rest of the uh, respiratory bronchioles, and that leads to the pulmonary interstitial emphysema. So at the cantilicular stage of lung development, it's critically important to avoid shear force injury, as we all talked about it as volume trauma. So we are a first intention high frequency center. We've been first intention for a um, very long time. And so the current, you know, we've gone through many different high frequency devices um, over, and certainly I've been using high frequency um, since 1987, so 33 years, gone through many different devices. And the current device that we're using right now is the, the jet ventilator. Um, Certainly all high frequency devices when used correctly can help minimize value trauma. So we, our jet ventilations basically use definitely on all babies less than 26 weeks. And pretty much I've gotten the teams using it on all, all babies that need intubation below um, 27 weeks now. So talk, I'll just talk a little bit about the jet since that's our primary approach for right now. The, the, the jet, the, the data here shows that jet ventilation increases healing of pulmonary interstitial emphysema. Jet ventilation, high frequency jet ventilation reduces incidence of air leaks. High frequency jet ventilation improves survival of, of neonates and pneumothorax or PIE. That was again, brilliant work here by um, Martin Kessler back in 1991. And another brilliant paper by Martin Kessler, which was uh, back in 1997, showed importantly, high frequency jet ventilation reduced incidence of BPD in infants with RDS treated with surfactant. So the key is the anti value trauma approach with a well understood how to use the mechanism of jet ventilation uh, optimally, which is a challenge because it's not just a drug. So you have to have, understand how to use all high frequency ventilators correctly because the management of this device impacts the outcome. 